Hello, welcome back to 2-2 Wizard Canadian. I'm Tuba 1, Owen Clifford. I'm also Tuba 1, Marcelo Diaz. Unfortunately, the Canadian... He passed away earlier today, and he's no longer on He was in a podcast. horrible, horrible car accident. On the way to school. Unfortunately, another case of driving while high, unfortunately. Yeah, this whole life ahead. Rest in peace, bro. We miss you. And um, today, as the stand-in for the Canadian, we have our good friend here, the Indian. The I'm gonna, Indian. I'm gonna, you are the Indian. You are the one like Indian Like, you're and the Indian. So it's like, and an Indian. Like, you're the only Indian person who's real. Yeah, exactly. And they're, the rest of them are not real, but you're real. You look scared and, like, frightened about, yeah. <laughs> Austin, <laughs> Austin, introduce yourself. Okay. You have to say your full name, you know, a little bit about yourself. Jealous, you're in the orchestra, tell us what instrument you play. Okay, so I'm Austin, obviously, like they said, I'm Indian. Um, you're the Indian. Yeah, I'm the Indian. Uh, I play the violin. That's great. Do you have no, yeah. no other characteristics? <laughs> um, I try my best to be a man of God. And... Uh, what are your hobbies? How are you playing the violin? I like working out and playing the violin, like I said. You do leg day? Yeah. Bro, you never miss leg day. Exactly. Never. Sometimes, you know, it gets tough, Austin, but you gotta push Austin. through. You never well, miss leg day, bro. Then you don't work out. If you don't do leg day, you don't work out. No, no, I do leg day. Don't oh, get do me wrong. Okay. okay, I see. I see. I don't work out at all, so you're like a step above me anyway. So. <laughs> you are like 20 steps above me. You are many, many steps above me, my friend. I can even walk up 20 steps, so. Yeah, me neither. I can only walk up one step when I pass out and I die. And he just jumped. Anyway. Which is exactly how the Canadian died earlier today. Except in a car. <laughs> it was a double-decker bus. Also, he was high. And he was playing Five Nights at Freddy's while he was driving. No. It's very unfortunate. But he died doing what he loved, you know? I gotta respect that. You know, I think um, the passing of a friend can really have a profound implication and impact on the lives of the people that they love and who love them, you know? And so, right. you know, every day, we Let's miss move him. on, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> so, let's just talk for a second about your violin. Oh, I think that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, you know, here's a better question. We, we, we've talked about this amongst ourselves. Tell us about like the, the cast system in the orchestra class. Yeah, what's the difference between first chair, second chair, and why are the people who like, are in are higher chairs... Are you considered chairs? an untouchable, or are you like first chair? No, because the people who are in the higher chairs have a higher social standing in the orchestra hierarchy. What is that all about? Well, the first chair has the responsibility of leading the section. So if you need to go to someone, like, if you like lose yourself, you pay attention to him, to the first chair. And who is and the current first chair? Um, well, it's different for full orchestra and then our class orchestra. Class orchestra, who's first chair? Um, for the first violins, it's Jake. Okay. Um, wait, it's, yeah, it's Jake. Okay, good for him. And then I'm first chair for the oh. second violins. Oh. And then... There's only one cello, Sophia. Sophia? Yeah. We, we, were, sure. we were speaking to Sophia earlier. That's yeah. Right. You should have been there. That's right. She's such a, she she's such a kind individual. Shout out Labib. Shout out Labib Chowdhury. You're Labib Chowdhury? We have a very good friend named Labib who I've never met in my life. And he's so such a you, wonderful we keep, person. He goes to the school somewhere, but he, we just keep shouting. Yeah. Does he also dress like a highlighter? Uh, I guess... On some days, he could be considered. Shout him out. Shout out Labib Chowdhury. His full name. Just be like, shout out Labib Chowdhury. Shout out to Labib. 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 Labib Chowdhury. Chowdhury. Not by Chowdhury. Chowdhury. Not by yourself. Shout out to Labib Chowdhury. There we go. It's close enough. Wow. So that was inspirational. Now, here's another thing that we ask every guest besides to shout out our great friend, Lee Chowdhury. What do you think of the sovereignty of Israel? The Israel-Palestinian conflict. You know, what, what's your stance? Wait, what do you mean by that? Like, do you recognize its independence? Or do you think it's just... I'm going to stop right... Do you, do you recognize its independence? Well, 
people I don't know too don't much know? about. About Israel? Yeah. Another straightforward answer, back to back episodes. Back-to-back so that's back-to-back good. That's good. He doesn't really know. And you know what? If you don't know, you shouldn't say anything about it. Like us. That's very smart. Like we don't know anything, yet we keep trying to spark political yeah, and We keep school. talking out of our ass, and that's bad. Don't be like us. We're bad role models. Especially him. So what do you think of Mr. Pazito? He's a pretty good violent teacher. He's, he's a he's an avid listener to your podcast, so be careful what you say. Yeah. yeah. He's we probably, love Mr. Pazino. He's probably listening to this episode right now. We're You're live. on thin ice. <laughs> We're live. We are always live. We're always live. We are actually always live. <clears throat> well, yeah, he's pretty great. He's pretty great. <laughs> yeah. Pretty great? That's all you have to say about him? Um... I've definitely, like, learned more on the violin. If you had the opportunity to kill him, would you? No. <laughs> okay. There, that's the answer we were looking for. So, here's the question. If you came into possession of a pipe bomb, would you rather blow up A, Mr. Pizzino, B, his goat, C, Christopher Jennings or D us choose wisely what was the third one Mr. Jennings the principal of Greenfield High School yeah the principal does he watch this podcast (laughs) we're having him on later this year we are we've scheduled it so it's possible that he would listen to this uh, episode and then get you suspended for threatening to blow him up with a pipe bomb I mean, I don't want to blow up the goat. And I don't want to blow up you guys. So it's between. So, so what you're so saying so is you'd blow up Mr. Jennings in a heartbeat. And you have a pipe bomb no, on you right saying, now. What he's saying is that he would rather blow up Mr. Pazino. No, no. This is a. This is not a necessary question to answer. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, so. Damn. How long, how long have you been playing the violin? Um, I started in fifth grade. How many years is that? He's counting with his hands. That's great. That's great. <laughs> like six. Six years? Did you do, like, independent practice, or was it always through the school? Um, I tr- my brother tried to teach me a little, but that didn't really go anywhere. He plays violin as well? He started off, but then he switched to bass. What is he, well, how old is he now? He's like 19. Where's he go to school? Um, NJIT. For what? Um, electrical engineering. You're a junior? Yeah. Does he Where still you... play bass? Yeah, he plays bass still. Have you ever jammed out with your brother? Yeah. That's awesome. Where do you think you, you want to go to university? Um, I'm still deciding. So. What do you, you what do you, what do you want to do? do want to what do you want to go for? I was thinking like going somewhere into physical therapy and then I may minor in business. That's cool. Yeah. It's always good to have the, the, the safety factor. Yeah, that's very smart. And the experience of business. That's true, it's a very common field. We're handing the reins of the conversation to you right now. You're le- it's your podcast. It's your, you are the guest. So all this dead space, this dead space is on you. Yeah, interview us. We've been asking you questions. You have to ask us. Okay. I'm kind of on the spot. Like, this is my first podcast. Please, so. lay it on us. Anything. I'll answer anything. It, it can be as mean-spirited as you feel like or as kind. I'll answer as you honestly. Like. On, my, on my honor. On everything, Co. <laughs> Shout out to Beep. So anyways, great episode. Great episode. <laughs> great episode. Uh, <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have a couple minutes here. Uh, so, like, sports? Like, do you support any sports teams? Did you watch the Super Bowl? No, I'm not really into sports. That's sick. How see. about you? So you, you saw the play, didn't you? Yeah. What were your thoughts on it? It was pretty good. The... Sorry. The ending was interesting. Interesting. 
not expected. The play was urine town, by the way, yes. for our listeners. He jokes on many. Yeah. Can someone say something? Can we like? Why don't you? Why don't you say something? Oh wait. Oh, yeah. oh, right? Again, this is a spontaneous episode, so we we, we didn't have anything uh, planned. It's weird because a lot of our episodes feature people talking over each other and way too much going on, and this one has way too little. Going we on. actually, uh, we like, like it's our co- podcast is not comprehensible, like one bit. No, because it's just out uh, over each other, so. and then laughter, and then laughter. Do you have pre planned questions? What? Do you have pre planned questions? We do. We normally interview faculty at the school. So, like, we don't know how to talk to people our own age. It's like a problem. Hey, Owen. Do you think Austin is a Mountie Colite? Yes. Yes? Yes, without, that, without hesitation, yes. That's the slur we came up with for people we don't like. So, like, we're hate criming you right now. Oh. We're, 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 we like you, Austin. He's, he's lying. You just said he was a Mountie Colite. I never said that. You j- we literally just caught you on air saying that. Roll it back. Roll back the tape. <laughs> We can't roll back the tapes. So we were just lying. Pretend that never happened. Yeah, exactly. He was yeah. he was having Scree, a great gotcha, gotcha. record scratch. We skipped over that. Part. That was you just now. So he was lying. We don't think you're a Mati Cola. Just no. don't mix Mountain Lion and Cola, and you won't be a Mati Cola. If you, well, if, you listen to our, if you listen to our previous episodes, you do figure it out. Yeah, it, we reference it. We came up with it on an episode. If this requires Are you previous viewing. He's, you seem insulted. No. That no, we called no. you a Mountie Cola. I think it means nothing. It means nothing. I think he thinks we're racist because we called him a Mountie Cola and then we called him the Indian. <laughs> oh, speaking of India. Uh, can you shout you out our one India? billion listeners from India? Shout out the entire population of India. We love you, India. Shout out to the one billion population of India. Do you have family in India? Yeah, I do. do you go? Shout out your family. Yeah, shout out your family. Shout out to my family in India. Say their names. Yeah, name them. My name. Their name. <laughs> yeah, yes. their names. How many? There's a lot of <laughs> name, so, Rapid fire, them. rapid fire, man. To be honest, I don't even know <laughs> their names. You don't even know. He doesn't even know. Maybe. Because I call sun, them by like. There's like Sun Jop. Ring him bell. Wow. What? Sun Jop. That was terribly racist of you. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just curious. <laughs> this guy. Do you know what Sun Jop? No. Well, what do you what do you call your family? What do you call? Them? Like you call them blood? No. You call like, them kin? Like, would you refer to your cousins as cuh? Or like really. Dave? What's up, Dave? <laughs> I haven't talked to my family or like, in India. In was good. A being long for time. real. Have you been to India? Yeah. Whereabouts? Like the south part of it, so we're around my parents' like birthplace. Do you speak the language? Um, so there's like a bunch of languages yeah, in India. Oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry for being so I speak Tamil. Intense. I'm sorry. Tamil. 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 Can you say just like hello? Yeah. How are you? Um, Panakam, Yepere, Austin. Um, that's wow, great. That was hello. My name is. We say it. In Tamil. In, yeah. Can yeah. you say Big P is the greatest orchestra teacher of all time? Um, I'm not very fluent in it, so oh, that's right. I don't know. That's right. So is that is that your second language? Like yeah. if you were like dropped in like the Indian wilderness, could you like make your way out of India? Like with the language you know, you might get eaten by a mongoose. Like around the area like, yeah, where yeah. I speak that, where people speak that. Yeah, and is it, they primarily speak that in the south. A part of the south. So if you were dropped in that part of the south by the Fortnite battle bus with nothing on you but a pickaxe, could you book would a you be able to survive? Possibly. Possibly. Great, okay. great. It's one of the oldest languages. Like ever? Yeah, I think it's like under the top 10. Wow. I think some people argue it's the first, but I don't, I don't think it's the first. What, what do you think is the first then, Austin? Chinese. No, I don't think that's... Is it a, communist Is show. it there? And, Wait, what would, like, didn't, like, the Mesopotamians have, like, a... Yeah, language? I was yeah. thinking Mesopotamian. Like Sumer or something? Sumerian. 
do you uh, are you familiar with that song about the Euphrates River? Yeah. You Euphrates River. By the by the Bassett. No. Whatever. By the The River. No, the, I don't know. the I don't Euphrates know. River. Anyway. The Euphrates River. It was the Euphrates River. All right, well, Austin, it's been a pleasure having you. I hope it's the same for you. I hope we didn't scare you or offend you with anything we've said or done. Please agree with that statement. Yeah, totally. Say it for agree. the record. Be like, in a court of law, I will not sue them for defamation against me or my family. In a court of law, I will not sue for defamation against, um, against me or... My family. Or, or India. India. That's not a threat, by the way. Thank you. That was great, Austin. Thank Anyways, um, thank you so much for joining us on our greatest episode yet of Tutu was in a Canadian it was so our good. best friend in the whole wide world, Austin. Right we, might, we might have you back. We will if, definitely. If you allow it. We will definitely have yeah. you back. No question. Okay. Bye.